How you doing guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be taking a look at the Split Leaf Greatsword. Now let's go straight over to the status page here guys. I am at soul level 125 using the Prisoner's Chain as per usual. So I'm running with 44 Vigor, 14 Attunement, 30 Endurance, 32 Vitality, 26 Strength, 16 Dexterity, 30 Intelligence and 30 Faith. Now over to the equipment page, I'm running with the Dark Split Leaf Greatsword plus 10, so Dark Infused so we can chip through shield setups. And with these current stats two-handed, we are getting 622 AR, so not too shabby at all. Now back over to the equipment page, in my second right hand slot I have a Dark Longsword plus 10. Basically I have it here as a finishing weapon because I feel that uh, Halberds are not very good at finishing people off sometimes. Um, so it's good to switch out to a straight sword to do that for you. And on top of that we can deal with uh, stuff like Quick Step Spam. And it's also Dark Infused so we can chip through shields as well. Now in my left hand slots I have a Blessed Kestis plus 10. A light crossbow plus 10 for utility with exploding bolts and splintering bolts. And I've also got a canvas talisman plus 10 here so I can cast Tears of Denial at the start of a match. Now uh, in terms of armor here guys, I'm running with the black iron helm, the wing knight armor, the black iron gauntlets and the black iron leggings. So we're getting some pretty decent uh, absorption values here guys. And on top of that I'm running with 42.55 uh, poise. Now what does this mean for the Halberd class? Well essentially with the split leaf here, it means I can infinitely hyper armor trade against every two-handed R1 from uh, all fast weapon classes. So, uh, well they're not going to be really using two-handed R1s, but uh, curved swords for example, um, when they go for those two-handed attacks, those two-handed running attacks, we can uh, just pump through them. Um, and straight swords, usually people will be uh, one-handing them, but uh, we can also uh, infinitely go through those, you know, katanas as well, spears, so all those fast weapon classes we can infinitely trade against in terms of uh, two-handed R1 trading. Um, and we can also tank one two-handed R1 from another halberd. Now that's really all you need against these faster weapons guys, because basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the R1 to poise break our opponents and go into the weapon art combos. Now that was the weapon art with the R2. I'm not sure if that one is a true combo, but I do know that the um, weapon art combo with the R1 is a true combo, and you can also follow that up with a roll catching R1 at the end. So we're going to be experimenting with those two uh, weapon arts here today, guys, against those faster weapons, so trading isn't really a problem. But against those bigger weapon classes, so uh, we're talking great swords, uh, hammers and ultra weapons, so ultra great swords, great axes and great hammers, you do not want to be trading against those weapons. So against those bigger weapons, we're going to be using the reach of the split leaf to outspace them and get in our combos anyway. And that's pretty much uh, it for the build. Uh, in terms of rings, I'm running with the same setup as always, so Havel's plus 3, Prisoner's Chain, Claranthia Ring plus 3 and the Ring of Favor plus 3 there to round out the build. So yeah, let's go take this bad boy into the arena. Alrighty guys, here we Go. Ooh, what do we have over there? We've got a spear and demon scar pyro. That looks pretty damn cool. Oh, it's the crispy. One of the boys on the ladder. Well, not on the ladder anymore, I don't think. Ooh, I should have followed that up with the weapon art there. Big mistake on my part. I like that setup that Crispy's using though, that's uh, that's different. I know Crispy loves his pyros. But Crispy's playing very well, playing very actively. Oh, that's what we needed. Alrighty guys, next up in the arena. Okay, so we've got a Dark Moon Blade on a Kyrian Ubadachi. Yep. All right, Pickle Rick. Pickle Rick. There we go. And the follow-up R1 to the uh, Weapon Art R1 combo, guys, is uh, another R1 roll catch. So that's pretty damn awesome. All 
Alrighty guys, straight on to the next match. Okay, so we've got a Vort Great Hammer over there, so we're going to have to be very careful about how we decide to approach this weapon, uh, considering that we do not have the poise here to be able to tank any of its hits. So we're going to have to we're going to have to try and outspace it here, or get our opponent uh, get our opponent before he gets into those um, those active frames. Basically, just got to be patient, look for an opportunity. He's really going for those running attacks, isn't he? Oh Jesus, what happened there? <laughs> Bit of scary latency. I mean, all we need is one combo here. Just one. Oh, that was it. That was the perfect opportunity there for the combo. Oh, okay. Switched up to the butcher knife. That's cool. Oh, going for the parry. And there you have it. Straight on to the next match. And what do we have over there? We have an onion brother with a katana. Alright, onion brother. Let's dance. Ah, Uncle Vesemir. Obviously a fan of the Witcher series. Ooh, should have followed that up there. That was a mistake on my part. That's a thing, I'm like I'm not very experienced using this weapon yet. So I obviously miss sometimes like these obvious combos. Now one thing I do want to talk about though is, I don't know if I'll be able to pull it off consistently, but one of the boys on the Discord, uh, his name's Angeluso on the PS4, he actually mains the split leaf so he's got a lot of experience using it. And he was talking about a particular concept called um, Healy Rolling, or Heli Rolling, whatever you want to call it, where basically you use the weapon art go into the helicopter and roll out before your opponent approaches you but you can still get out some chip damage um, before they actually hit you which is awesome and this is because the weapon art itself has like virtually no recovery or zero recovery so basically if you're good enough you can uh, chip people with the weapon art and then roll out to avoid their attacks now obviously I'm trying to pull it off here to no success Ooh, whoops and instead we get poked Oh, and I, and I missed the true combo as well, what an idiot. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, um, the healy, healy rolling stuff is pretty awesome to get down pat. Um, but uh, yeah, it just requires a lot of practice, obviously, uh, just to get that timing right. Ooh, ooh. We just got to be careful here because we don't have the poise to uh, <laughs> to break a greatsword at the trade. So we're going to have to use our spacing here, guys. Gonna have to outspace this guy, Uncle Vesemir. Ooh, that's what we have to do. We have to outspace this brother and avoid the trade. See if we can uh next match. What have we got over there? Ultra Great Sword, it is the Zweihander with a bit of latency. 
Holy shit, a lot latency. Alright, see, that's what I was talking about before that I wasn't pulling off very well. It's the, um, the Healy Rolling, where you can chip your opponent and still be able to roll out um, effectively. Now, let's see how many times I can... Um... Ooh, ah, that was latency. Pull that off here. <laughs> Probably not many times. Now we've got to be careful because we do not want to get caught in this guy's hyper armor. And there you go. That's the uh, the tech there again. Oh shit! I gotta be careful though, cause this guy, this guy. Ooh. Got a bit of latency on his side here. So we've got to be very careful. Ooh. I want to try and get that uh, Healy roll or Healy roll for the win here. Oh, almost, almost. Let's see if we can get a win using this tech. Oh, trying to go for that. Barker Bombay. Ooh! God, I should have rolled there. Alrighty guys, next up in the arena. Jeez, what do we have over there? We've got, uh, is that Lorian's Ultra Greatsword? Yep, cool. Going for that Barker Bombade there. Now again, because it's an Ultra Weapon, we're going to be relying on our spacing here, because um, we don't have the poise to obviously deal with it. So we're going to have to be very careful. But as you can see, I mean, when given the opportunity, and we get just one R1 in, that's the full combo. You get one R1 in, you stagger your opponent, you're going to get that full combo out, guys. And that was, what, 900 damage against this particular gentleman? Alright, so now we're going to be chasing him down here. He's playing very... very defensively, obviously. We've got a very big health advantage here. Ooh! My bad. Ooh, my bad again. Jeez, what happened there? A bit of latency, as usual. See, Dark Souls, it likes to surprise you like that sometimes, you know? Going very well in a fight, and then out of nowhere, you get this uh, latency spike. Alright, let's see if we can finish him here with a crossbow. Next up in the arena. And we have the Crispy. Now, let's see how we're going to do this here. Whoop, got us there before we could get into the trade. Not good. Oh, Jesus, I did not see that chaos bed. Gotta watch out for the searing heat. Ooh, from that chaos bed. Alright, 
Alright, so we'll play a little bit defensively here, guys. Let's get some HP back. I don't know if we've lost our, um... Whoop! Have we lost our tears? We may have lost our tears here, boys. <laughs> oh, if Crispy got us with the Fire Surge. What a champion. Straight on to the next match. What have we got over here? Ooh, we've got the uh, Black Knight Sword. Just got to watch out for that Perseverance. And we've got a very aggressive Greatsword user. Alrighty guys, let's go for one last match here today. And it looks like we have another split leaf. We're both going to be looking for the combo here. <laughs> oh god, a split leaf mirror match. Oh, wait, he's switched up now. Is that the Lothric Knight Ultra Greatsword? I think it is. Ooh, should have followed that up. Nice, 845 damage. Going for that uh, Healy rolling there, just to get some chip damage in. I really enjoy using that tech now that um, you know, I've had a little bit of practice with it. And that brings us to the end of this particular video, taking a look at the Split Leaf Greatsword. Now, I've never used this weapon before. This is the first time I've ever used this weapon, and uh, <laughs> yeah, ever since the DLCs came out, and that was a big mistake, because this thing is a lot of fun to use. It's so much fun pulling off the weapon art combos, guys. Um, and on top of that, I think it's a very competitive halberd. In fact, I think it's the best halberd in the game. This thing is an absolute beast. Now, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you're enjoying my content, please subscribe. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. Until next time.